Hello everyone, and welcome to my unregularly scheduled Bitcoin speculation videos. Thank you very much to CoinRun with Brave New Coin for the 0.13 BTC donation. You're my top and only donator this month, so an easy win is top follower for you. As for the top hater, it was tough, but this may have to go to Astrake for this whopper. Levity aside, the Moonvember video was an excellent call. I was a little early, but the breakup pattern as well as consolidation zone was well marked. Unfortunately, it didn't hit my $850 target, but it is now confirmed as resistance. This being the previous high in June. The current consolidation level, however, is very striking. This was resistance in early July, but is now acting as support. In addition to the long-term bullish trend marked as a thick white line, it is easy to visualize an ascending triangle-like structure to the price. This indicates that when the price dips, that a lot of buyers are moving in to quickly buy up the sold coins in anticipation of a higher later price. As for volume, we're beginning to see a rounding bottom on this latest sell wave. This personally gives me some confidence to open a small long position here, with a stop loss below the white bull trend gradient. Regarding the Bollinger Bands, coming into December we see rather wide bands indicating a ranging market, which we've seen so far with this $100 channel shown here in the daily chart. As such, any trade below the midpoint of the channel is the statistically favourable trade, but in order to find a more ideal entry, we must move to a smaller time frame. On the 4-hour Bollinger Bands, you're looking for this kind of formation where you see a tightening of the bands, a classic breakout indicator. Since we are below the median and observing a Heiken Ashi Doji candle, this appears to be a reasonably safe place to take a low-risk short-term long position, with my stop loss on the other side of the aforementioned white bull trend. More fundamentally, I am keeping a running tally of the SegWit adoption after the announcement section of the same in Look Ahead number 12's video. Signaling for SegWit opened up in the second week of November and currently sits at 22% at time of video production. The clock is ticking with approximately one year for a 95% consensus to be reached, but this is currently impossible. At minimum, popular mining pool via BTC, who currently controls approximately 10% of hashing power, is publicly against SegWit, calling 1 megabyte blocks network suicide. While several pools and sites have abstained from signaling support for SegWit, Samsung Mao has noted that via BTC is heavily funded by Bitmain, an ASIC mining chip producer and owner of Antpool and BTC.com. While Bitmain did initially sign a letter supporting the soft fork, there has been political discourse and accusations of parties not upholding their side of the deal. Time will tell whether or not the mining pool will be orphaned, but while political discourse continues, a new solution must be found to continue Bitcoin growth. As for news, things are unfortunately not as bearish for the world markets as anticipated. With the American elections clearing an underdog candidate, the American indices were initially bearish in the news. They now boast a new all-time high. Highly speculated cash flow is anticipated from India and China, with emphasis on highly speculated regarding India. While it is one of the top 10 economic superpowers, news reports indicate that the cash crunch has limited capital flight. Indeed, while tariffs on gold imports are high, Indian households are the highest investors in physical gold, with gold merchants charging a significant premium. Threat of a ban may press investors to move to digital currency as encouraged by Indian Finance Minister Arun Jaitley as part of the nation's mission to reduce prevent bribery in the country. In fairness, Google search trends for buy Bitcoin and local exchange volume has seen an upswing in recent weeks. However, the population's exposure to Bitcoin is far less than their Chinese neighbours. The Chinese continue to suffer from a weak yuan, while compared to the American dollar with it anticipated to rise as high as 7.2 yuan per dollar within 12 months. With it comes regulation with intent to stem flow of value out of the state. In October, legislation was proposed that would allow the government more control over wealth management products, known as WMPs. If passed, corporations would be restricted from overseas investment of more than $1 billion, or face capital control restrictions. The products, which raised trillions in 2015, would be restricted to banks of more than 5 billion yuan in value, or 5 years experience with WMPs. If not, they would be required to invest their assets in lower risk assets, such as government bonds or local bank deposits. 
As with all capital control, this caused a 3% overnight increase in Bitcoin price. I'll be keeping my finger on a pulse for more capital control which may push us up and out of this ascending triangle if it comes in the short term. Well, I think that just about wraps up this video. Thank you very much for watching and cheers. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.